Okay, well, hello everyone. So, I'm Neil. This is Matthias and Milo. We are co founders of Teach. And I would like to begin by asking you a question. Does any one of you know the answer of this problem? Probably not. <laughs> anyway, the thing is, this problem is the typical problem you would encounter um, when you are a first year computer science student in the first few weeks of your course. And it is a problem. I had no idea how to solve it. I was completely lost on it. And you would ask yourself, why didn't I ask my teacher or one of the many TAs at school? Well, the thing is, we have always have been in the situation where I didn't, you don't ask a teacher because you are maybe, you don't have time if you don't like him or you just, I don't know, you just don't want to do it because your ego is maybe a bit too high. Well, the thing is, after this problem, we realized that maybe we had to do something about it. And because the situation where I was at the moment was that basically I had an exam, it was December, and I had no one to turn to. So at that same point in time, I was faced with a pretty different problem, one that you're probably all very familiar with. Um, I was living in London, and London's a pretty expensive city, right? So my problem was that I didn't have enough money to live as I wanted to. We've all had that one Sunday morning where you wake up, you check your Lloyd's bank account, and to your dismay, you've got a grand total of three pounds. Um, and so the obvious answer to that is, well, get yourself a job, right? The problem is most student jobs are not very appealing or don't pay too well, um, and almost always clash with our lecture times. So from all these very frustrating experiences, we realized that there was a market opportunity. On the one hand, we had people who were willing to give their time to teach in order for some much needed cash. And on the other, we had people who were kind of desperate for help. After some thought, we realized that the people who needed help weren't just university students, GCSE students, A-level students, people who wanted to learn throughout their lives were also look, looking for help. So we decided to build a peer-to-peer -peer platform one in which people would be compensated for their talents, their knowledge, and their willingness to share those with others. The idea seemed nice, but we really needed some validation. We needed to make sure that when people ask questions on the platform, people would actually be willing to answer. So then we started doing something that you've probably all seen and been annoyed by, which is spamming Facebook groups with pre-formatted messages that look like that. Um, we got some hate mail back, like, stop spamming our page, we don't like you, that sort of stuff. But we also got 3,000 people who signed up to our service in three weeks. And that was the validation we needed to start the product. So from then on, we started sketching. And when I mean sketching, we were sketching day and night, trying to make the experience as smooth as possible. But for some reason, we were 16-year-olds who'd seen the social network, um, and we didn't want to be the Winkle bosses, right? So we didn't speak about it to anyone. It's just us in a room designing stuff. We were getting no feedback. And so we designed something bad. When I mean bad, I mean really bad. Um, helper was OK. But I mean, as you can see, the interface wasn't great. So we decided maybe we'll go speak to the people who actually need the product. And that was when we realized that the big problem with education is that it's very uncool. Like, very uncool. Um, You've probably looked at education websites. So I don't I actually know what the St. Martin's website's like, but um, my university's website's horrendous, and my high school's website's horrendous, any tutoring website's horrendous. All in all, pretty bad experiences. So we decided that we'd speak to the kids, the teenagers who are using the platform. And that's how we're evolving right now in Teach. So every time we have an idea, we pass it by kids from the age of 13 to 19, and we ask them, does it look OK? Like, would you use this? And that's how we move forward now. So in the age of filters pushing up evaluations of companies like Snapchat up to the billions, you would say, cool, it's not important, it is crucial. And for our market, it's something that is even more important in the sense that by being cool, we are trying to make students to work more efficiently. And We've seen as one of our biggest advantage what was that we were building a platform for ourselves, for students, for our friends, for people we've been and with people we've grew up with. 
And this big advantage we had helped us in many situations, like for example, when we're getting funding. So with the design focus in mind that Matt talked about, our aim was to create a product that made learning inherently more attractive to students. So from the initial sketches that Matt showed you, the horrible ones that we had five minutes ago, we went away, worked on them, the product evolved, and we've now got something that looks like this. So the aim in this product is to stay faithful to the core value that we identified at the beginning. Um, and so Teach is now an app on which anyone can ask a question as soon as they're struggling in their subject and post their question on this app and expect to receive an answer from a student who will be studying that very subject, so undergraduate, master, PhD, who will run them through the answer in less than 30 seconds. So from these sessions that students have with these teachers, these experts in these different subjects, they can then start to build a whole network of people who they know they can rely on 24-7 as soon as they have any other question. So you can literally be walking around and you'll have a network of people, experts, in your pocket, ready to answer your question. So for example, right now, in my pocket, I've got Jack, who's doing his computer science masters at Oxford, and I've got Terry, who occasionally helps me from time to time with my economics homework, all the way from Boston. So with this, we realized that we kind of had a tool that was more useful than simply helping Neil out with his initial Sunday night problem in computer science. We had a tool that firstly could help high school students, so people who were struggling, who didn't have enough time from that one, one teacher who had to split their time throughout 30, 30 students. Um, and those, those students could now rely on the support all the time of a whole network of people to help them out. The second person we could help out was, as Matt said, the lifelong learner, people who were curious, who read loads of articles ranging from international relations all the way to artificial intelligence and computer science. And these people, when they want to learn a little bit more about a topic, they've just read a fascinating article on uh, driverless cars and the conclusions about the ethics of driverless cars. Well, now, instead of having to type on the internet and scrolling through pages and pages of content, they're able to simply post their question and have a chat with someone who's doing their thesis on the ethics of driverless cars. So our objective now is to change the behavior of these two types of people so that instead of automatically turning towards Google and having to scroll through pages of content and looking for the right page that will be suited to their level, they can simply turn to teach, ask that one simple question, and expect to get a video call back from a person who will be able to adapt themselves to their level and explain it in a very clear manner to them. So 10 years ago, um, Salman Khan started Khan Academy. Um, Khan Academy is very useful. I don't, you probably used it. And it tells me a lot of time with my homework. Um, and that really launched the sort of content revolution, right? So now, literally millions and millions of hours of teaching are available to stream on the internet. But as far as instruction goes, technology has changed nothing. So if you want help on your class, if you want somebody to explain a simple mathematic concept, it will take you at least five hours to find somebody. Teach wants to be the instruction revolution. That is what a teach session looks like. You're literally calling somebody who's doing math at Cambridge, and they're running you through the problem. It's that simple. You're 10 seconds away from somebody explaining the problem. And in the future, we think all schools should be like that. No reason to wait. No reason to be doing late night preparations. Just ask a question and get a call back. Thank you.